Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be discussing the basics of cellular biology. So we're going to look at the basic structure of a cell and the different types of cells belonging to different organisms. So what actually is a cell? So a cell is the smallest functional unit of life and it can replicate itself independently. Humans contain over a hundred trillion cells and organisms can either be unicellular, which means they consist of just one cell, or they can be multicellular, which means they consist of many cells. So an example of a unicellular organism is a bacteria, and a multicellular organism can be, for example, a human. Now, cells can be considered the building blocks of life because they're so small, and it's the smallest functional unit of life. And remember, they contain uh, DNA and they're replicating themselves independently. So this is basically what a cell actually is. Now there's different types of cells which make up the organism. So they can either be prokaryotic or they can be eukaryotic. So a prokaryotic cell is very simple and small. It's 0.5 to 2 micrometers in diameter approximately. And a key thing to note about prokaryotic cells is that they don't contain membrane bound organi organelles. So it doesn't contain, for example, a nucleus. Um, prokaryotic cells can also contain a flagella on the outside. Now, eukaryotic cells also can contain a flagella, but the flagella for prokaryotic cells is a bit more complicated uh, and complex in terms of its structure. Uh, a prokaryotic cell also can have a cell wall which covers the membrane, and the DNA in a prokaryotic cell is a single chromosome in the cytoplasm and this chromosome can be condensed into a nucleoid which is just a space in the cytoplasm dedicated to this uh, genetic information. Now a eukaryotic cell is much larger than a prokaryotic cell so it can be considered to be approximately 15 times wider and up to a thousand times greater in terms of its volume and uh, eukaryotic cells contain membrane bound organelles and uh, an example of that is a nucleus or a mitochondria and another thing to know is the eukaryotic cells contain a cell nucleus which is containing condensed chromosomes inside the cell nucleus as well as other structures as well so uh, finally another thing to know is that the eukaryotic cells are ciliated with primary cilia and this uh, is basically like an antenna for the cell so it provides thermal function can even provide uh, movement and various other um, sensory information for the cell but this is going to be made into a separate video so that's just something else to know as well and here finally we have an um, image of a prokaryotic cell so we can see it's enclosed in a capsule where there's a cell wall and then the plasma membrane. Here we have the bacterial flagellum and this is the nucleoid which is the um, chromosomes condensed into the region of the cytoplasm. And there's also um, a plasmid and this is like a region where there's some extra DNA for the cell but it's just away from the nucleoid. And uh, yeah, this is a prokaryotic cell. Here we have a eukaryotic cell. You can see there's um, organelles which have their own membrane, so they're sort of closed and boxed off. There's also a nucleus, which is where the genetic information is stored. For example, there's a nucleolus inside it. There's chromatin as well. This, all this information is going to be... Um, well, I'm going to be going into more depth on this information. So this is just a brief introduction to what... Um, is a cell and the two types of cell which make up different organisms prokaryotic and eukaryotic and that's everything I want to discuss in this video I hope this one has been useful to you in the next video I'm going to look at each organelle and I'm going to explain to you what each organelle does inside for example the eukaryotic cell so we're going to be doing this in the next video if this video has been useful write a comment below if you have any questions also write them below and we'll do our best to get back to you thanks for watching